if you are feeling a little bit nervous about teaching your child in mathematics, or perhaps you really started and your child is not even sure, or they're not listening, or behind that score, then today's video is for you. Because come October this year, we are going to be starting with Life of Fred online classes. If you're not sure about what Life of Fred is about, um, I have a video we have done a whole person review about it. But just in short, it is a narrative approach to teaching math. There's not a lot of drilling, like not a lot of practicums. There's also not a lot of, maybe let's call it fluff type of math, where it's just, you know, this is what I want you to give, and here's how I want you to do it, and then you just give examples. And so there's no real analytical thinking. It's not that one either. So um, Life of Fred is a story about a little maths professor. He's five years old, called Fred, and he teaches, it's his life story, and he teaches maths, and it's all about a story. So every chapter is a story with a few little practice rounds, and I have been doing this with my own kids, uh, and it works. And it is also, some people think, how can this be enough? But it is enough. I can guarantee you that. So, I am inviting you, if you are feeling a little bit nervous, or you feel like your child is not quite getting it, or your child loves stories, but they don't like the sitting down and working part, then this is really a curriculum that will suit your child. So I will leave all the details about that uh, in the comments, and you can just say, Life of Fred, and I'll send you the specific link. But now, if you feel like, oh, well, I want to also have my child here, but they're not quite ready yet, or you're feeling they're not quite ready yet. So these are the criteria which the author, Dr. Stan Stewart, has recommended, is that your child needs to be able to count 20, and they need to know their plus and minus terms um, from 0 to 10, and be able to sit and listen for maybe three pages worth of reading. And if you feel like, hmm, I know they, my child loves stories, so I know they can sit and listen. Uh, they can count to 20, but uh, I'm not too sure about the plus and minus. Or maybe it's the other way around. Or one of those criteria, you feel like, I'm, I would like to get in time for October's live classes, but I'm not too sure if my child is ready yet. Then I recommend this uh, I Love Mathematics book. It is absolutely a fantastic way to get your child ready in the next three months and it will not only benefit them for now but also for later on when you want to do practical explanation as well so in this i love mathematics you have uh, it starts from very concrete and it works to abstract so many times either kids are only concrete um, like only counting, so be counting, or they are already past the, the bridging phase from abstract, from concrete to abstract. Um, but this one's got it all. So for your concrete stage, you have got these counters. You have got number cards, and each card has got like a number that they can physically get to know the number, but also uh, find the number. And then you've got these little numbers um, that will fit the cards. And then for the abstract bridging over is you're ending with the addition and subtraction with your crokey and a little fluffy pen that you can wipe out and practice. You can have many times as you want. And it all comes with a lovely bag that you can put everything into. And I would recommend, if you are feeling, maybe if you are doing grade R, and you have been not sure about really how to approach the maths, then this is a fantastic kit for you. Um, perhaps you are, your child is really grade one, and you feel like, you know, we haven't really got momentum going, I'm not too sure, or my child has got stuck, they know the numbers, like maybe you can count to 100, but it, the thing is with, Numbers, if a child gets stuck along the way when it just becomes memorization and not understanding the muchness, 
And that's what happens with time. So don't worry about that. That will happen over time. Um, and just a side note, I think that the schools put too much pressure on too soon. They go really quickly from the concrete to the abstract too quickly. But we'll keep that for another video. Uh, so I have got in my form uh, for the LIPO prep classes, my child's not ready yet. So if you want to check that one, um, I'll be able to send you one of these kits. They are 195 rand, and it is actually investment for now and for at least for the next year or so. And if you've got kids, um, younger ones, then you know that you can get very good quality. And what I'm also offering is in this time that you want to get your child ready, I'm also offering an added, you can have a one-on-one -on -one session with me. You can explain what your frustrations are, what you're feeling nervous about, or how you think your child learns, and we can work about how to use this to get them ready for October. So, just to explain about these live lessons, it will be on a Monday morning and a Thursday morning. That leaves two to three days in between each one. And for every one that is taking part, enrolled in these lessons, you get free access to a map, premium map app as well. If you feel that you would just like to do a little something daily, then you then you can, um, but it's not necessary. And we will be covering one book in the elementary series every term. And by the time you're done, then you'll have your whole foundation phase ready and they'll be ready for continued lesson. So I will leave all those, all the information on how you can get book your slot. And I am available to if you ask if you have any questions and um, maybe you're not too sure about whether this is this is going to be the right one, you can also ask me. But as I said, uh, I have actually used this curriculum with my own children. It has been the only one that we have consistently kept with with our home team. We've done different types of um, unit studies, use textbooks, use worksheets, use different things along the years, and this mass curriculum is the only one that I have stuck with, um, just because it is so good. And what I love, absolutely love about it, is that it doesn't feel maths for the child. Um, they are really excited about maths, but very cleverly, the author has woven in practice. You might think, um, my child is not getting enough practice, but he repeats certain things in the practice uh, problems that they get to do, like three or four at the end of each chapter, and the things that have been covered in previous chapters, it gets woven in, in that. And later on, when they are past the elementary phase, um, let's say your foundation phase, then um, they also have to do practice rounds that they have to get a certain number of right before they can go on to the next chapter. So uh, there's a lot of thinking about this and, and um, planning. And I think when I started, I, I, I thought, you know, is this enough? Is this going to get my child ready? It seems so little. You know? <laughs> and I remember with my first child, you know, we were like, we need to do a book and a half every term to make sure. And then, and then what happens is that they reach the end of the elementary phase too young. They're not ready yet. And even Dr. Schmidt says, spread these 10 books over three to four years. So by the time they are 10, or like say grade four, then they are developmentally ready for the next phase. <clears throat> and I have seen that we've also been going, you know, steadily, not rushing through maths, um, just plodding along, not feeling the pressure when I realized that actually you actually make a lot of progress very quickly and it covers a lot uh, woven into these stories that you, you as a mom, but you're reading these stories, um, you don't even, the, the stories are so entertaining and they're funny and um, you don't even realize how much math is busy happening. But what I've seen with my, my son, he's Grade seven, and I also tutor maths 
uh, other like mainstream drag shows, and they all rock up at the same place more or less, doing the same thing, but a completely different route, and a completely different way, and um, it is really a non-stressful way of um, incorporating analytical thinking and applied math. They, the, the, from the get-go, you are not like starting on Tuesday like that, you know, you know, like really um, almost undermining the child's ability to really apply what they know. So although, although that happens in more abstract thinking, or really from the get-go, they get, it's a way of thinking, it's a way of, uh, I need, I've heard this now, and I've been given some tools, but now I have to apply it. And that is right from the get-go, and that is why I really um, love this curriculum, is because it, it trains the children to think in a certain way, as opposed to what happens many times in other curriculums, uh, especially in mainstream, is that they have been almost trained in a certain way of thinking, and suddenly, in a certain grade level, they're expected to do something else. And there's normally panic, and the emotions go, go up as a filter, and then they, they like go blank, and they, there's um, a whole lot of things that happen at the moment when they're seeing, now they suddenly have to apply what they've been learned, whereas before they weren't. Whereas with Life of Fred, that way of thinking is right from the get-go, and also he doesn't keep big numbers for higher grades. So that when, uh, which I've also seen, is that uh, the higher the higher you go up with grades, the bigger the numbers become. Whereas with Life of Fred, they get, there's no like, I need to start with more numbers when they do um, problems because I'm in a young, I'm a, a earlier grade. He, he talks about zillions and millions and and like and, and Fred's favorite number is zero. So he just adds on zeros. So that whole like <gasps> he has a big number. Um, you know, they just get used to dealing with small numbers and big numbers and in perspective. So I am super excited about this live party that, that will be happening soon. But space is limited, so you need to reserve your spot. And as, again, if you have any questions, you are welcome to speak to me now. If you're not too sure uh, who I am, my name is Angela, and I have a homeschooling consultancy called Homeschooling at Rest, and I've also started a math school called All Math. And you can find that at www.allmath.co.za. And it's not just for the younger grades, it's from grade R all the way to matric. Different math programs for different scenarios, there's short courses, there's mastery courses, there's grade levels, there's CAP South African, there's British curriculum, and there's um, American curriculum. And uh, really anything that you are looking for, um, you'll find it there. <laughs> and I'm, I keep working on the traditional plus the unconventional because I know not everybody learns the same and so I recognize that and sometimes um, the children that is very much less is more like you know don't kill it by overdoing it and then you get other children that need a lot of practice or a lot of uh, repetition and so I recognize that everyone is on their own journey and I would love for them to see that maths is fun and uh, that maths is for everybody. And so um, have a look at all maths and I am always available to answer any questions. So if you, if you like this video, please give it a like, share it with a friend and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, until next time, bye bye.